The ACDP wants to reinstate the death penalty. How is this compatible with both a democratic constitution and more importantly, the Christian values it claims to represent, the commandment, thou shall not kill? When one looks at the high levels of crime in South Africa and how brutal sometimes criminals are, there has to be a punishment that is severe, a punishment that will make potential criminals to know that it does not pay to disrespect people's right to live. And we believe it is government's responsibility to ensure that those who break the law and steal life from others, that they should be punished severely. Uh, Christianity is not against government using capital punishment, but what the Lord said when he said, thou shalt not kill, he was talking to person to person. You have no right to kill me, I have no right to kill you. As citizens, we have to respect each other even though we don't agree with one another. So killing other people is wrong, but government has the right, as Romans 13 says, they have a sword to punish. Obviously, when you punish with the sword, and the sword in those days was an instrument of taking people's lives. Does the ACDP believe that Christianity equals capitalism, as its deputy president re recently mentioned socialism as a belief system that is contrary to Christianity? Capitalism is not opposed to Christianity, and it would be wrong to equate Christianity with capitalism. Christianity teaches that work hard to earn a living. And when you have earned a living, you have profits, then don't close your heart against those who are poor, who are needy. What is, I find wrong with capitalism is selfishness and greed. But if a person has material wealth and they are willing to help the poor, willing to help those who are not as fortunate as they are, I think that's a proper thing to do. So we cannot give and help people what we don't have. So we must make profit to be able to help other people. What is the ACDP's view on corporal punishment in schools? Our view is there should be a form of corporal punishment. Teachers and parents should be taught the difference between abuse and correction. Um, because there is no more corporal correction in the schools, we are experiencing things that we did not experience many years ago. There is no criminal activity taking place in society that's not reflected in our schools. Mm -hmm. You have drugs, you have rapes, you have killings, you have all these things. Why? Because there's no corporal correction. A few years ago, you would never think that a child would raise their hand against the teacher. Mm -hmm. You'd never think of teachers resigning from the professions they liked because of children who are disrespectful. Mm. So ACDP believes that there has to be corporal correction, but there must be guidelines 